In today's lesson, we're going to learn about AR stickers. AR stickers are elements that take place on your subject's face, and you can attach different elements to your subject, such as a mustache, heart, eyes, and so much more. So let's get started and see how this works. I have four videos here, all of them containing a face for these AR stickers to attach to. We have the first video right here. The subject is looking into the camera and I can see the features clearly. We have another video with our subject in frame, but she's looking down, so we need to see how this works. Another subject of uh, a face that's constantly moving and at times it gets covered by the hand. And finally, we have a subject that uh, the face gets covered at certain points and it's looking away from the camera. So let's see how AR stickers work on these four situations. So to find AR stickers, head over to Effects, Film Stock, AR Stickers. As you can see, we have a lot of options right here. And all of them have a face in the preview, meaning that you need a face in order for these stickers to work. Luckily, we have four faces, so let's go ahead and try these out. For my first video, I will go to Effects, and we can add butterflies, for example, and here is my video. If I'm happy with this effect, I could click and drag it onto my video. Let's try other things. DJ. And now this person is DJing. You can see how the elements are stuck to the face and they move according to the model's head movement. So if you want to give your videos a fun effect, you can go ahead and do this. If you'd like, you can put this on a separate video track to compare the results. Let's put mouse, for example. And maybe I want to combine these, lay them at the same time. Maybe yeah, I can turn one off and see how it looks before moving on with adding others. All right, so this worked great on our first example. The only time where it becomes bad is when she moves her head. Let's take a look at this example. And see when she moves her head, we're getting this flat look on our AR sticker, which is pretty natural because it is a flat element. Let's try this on another example. Delete that. Head back to my media and try our second example. Now over here, our model is looking down and we're not getting her entire face. We're seeing it from the side. Let's see what happens when I add an AR sticker. So it looks a little distorted. The sticker is shaking as well because the model is moving. When she disappears, so do the stickers. And when she puts her glasses on, we're not getting the stickers anymore. And it's looking weird when it comes back. So you want to make sure that your video, uh, A, you have a clear face, and B, your subject is not moving as much, and C, it's not getting covered. And we're going to uh, try this with another example. Let's delete this. Take a look at what happens for this example. Let's add bare cheeks. When you add the effect directly onto your video, there's no need to uh, stretch it out because it will be applied to your entire clip. But if you add it separately on top, then you need to adjust the duration and make sure it covers the whole video. Play this back. And now we have this cute effect for this child. Now notice how in this video, the sticker is not moving as much like the previous example. 
The reason for that is that we're getting a straight face and the model, the face is always in the frame, first of all, and, and her face is set straight in front of the camera. But over here, her face was set to this direction. And hence why the sticker at times would jump out and we would get a weird effect. It would work okay here, but you could see how at certain points it would just cover her nose and it would jump out of place. So make sure that your model is set in front of the camera for the AR sticker to stick to the right positions on the face because we don't want the bear here to jump on the nose or any other location. Let's get the original video and try something with the eyes. Now the model here is not looking at the camera. Let's add big eyes and see what happens. So it looks a little weird because the eyes is looking straight at us, but the model is looking down. And that's why we're getting this effect. Let's look at our first example where the subject is looking straight into the camera. This looks a lot better because her face is looking at the camera, although when she tilts, one of the eyes goes over the nose, but you can see over here it's pretty natural and we're getting a good effect. Let's try our fourth example where the face gets uh, cuts out of the footage at times. I'll try this one, play this back. You can see how the sticker is still attached to the face, even though the forehead is out of frame. Now, the reason for this is that Filmora is analyzing the face and unless it gets covered like that, it will keep that element exactly on the eyes, the neck and the mouth. The only exceptions are for times where the face gets covered or other times where the model is looking to the side. It still keeps the position, but you can see how it's just not looking nice. So make sure that your videos are suitable for these stickers and you will uh, always end up with a good result. Let's use these stickers and make something cool using what we learned so far and, and the stickers. I will grab a footage. Let's type party. Add this to my timeline. You can get the same video by looking for these. Let's drag our green screen on top of this, double click, head over to chroma key, turn it on, and now the background is gone, except you can see that it's still faded because we did not get the right green. If I turn this off, you can see the background is way more vibrant. And over here, we're getting this faded overlay on top of the background. So we need to turn on alpha channel and get rid of these gray. Remember, we need to get black and white in order to make something fully visible and fully invisible. So drag the offset slider to the right until you're getting the color black. Here we are. And now we have lost some of the areas on the subject, so we need to work with the tolerance. Drag this to the right slightly, just until you're getting this flat effect. If needed, you can add feathering or thickness, but this is all right for me. Turn this off, and now I'm getting a better effect. Let's play this back, and now it's looking a lot better. If you skip through and saw this happening, you can go back and adjust your edge thickness. Feather out the edges too. Now I have my video separated. I can go ahead and add an AR sticker and make it look as if this person is at a party. 
Let's add the disco sticker. I will trim these. Add that on top. And now she's at a disco. Goes well with the background. And you could even add some pop music in the back. If you want to add a fun touch to your videos, you can add these stickers. Let's try another example where we will grab one of these, one of my uh, videos. And let's say I don't want my sticker to be there the whole time. Instead of putting the sticker directly onto my video, I can put it on a separate video track and that way I can put multiple stickers on one video and adjust their duration. Let's choose another one. And adjust the duration. Like so. And now she has two stickers on top. And I could make it look even more high dimension by adding a cinematic bar. You can see these black bars over here, but let's intensify them. Bring these a floor up, go to my media, sample color, and uh, grab any color you'd like. I will stick with black. Double click on your color, head over to mask, rectangle, invert, and just work with the size. You can see how the stickers are going over these black bars and this way I'm getting a 3D effect. Let's get rid of these. Now you may have come across another folder labeled AR sticker in the elements window. Right over in the default tab, AR. Now these are different, they are labeled AR but they're not exactly the same. These are just 3D elements. Let's add one here. Let's turn this off, the black bars right here. So this was one of the AR elements. You can see it's not the same. But if I turn on my black bars, it will look really cool. can see it's like this was our screen but this is going beyond the screen to to give us this card let's try airplane again it goes outside and we have more options so those were some ways that you could use these AR stickers to make your videos look more funny and add a animated touch to them. Let's see what happens when I put these AR stickers on top of a video that does not have a face. Stock media. And I will get this flower. Drag this on top. And you can see the sticker is nowhere to be found because there is no face in our video. Even if I drag it on top, you can see we're still getting nothing. Let's try this on another type of face, like an animal's face. Drag these emojis right here, and we are still not getting the sticker. So the type of video is also important. You want to make sure that you have a human face for this to work. Let's look for cat. We have a video of a tiger. It's pretty clear, but if I add one of these stickers, I will not get a result. Even though I can get the same sticker on top of a video that has a face. Let's extend it. 
So it works here, but it doesn't work here because these stickers are meant for human faces. And that was how you can use AR stickers to add a fun touch to your videos. Now let's move on to the next lesson.